Hello everyone, welcome back to Dragon Ball Z League Season 7, Week 11. I am your host Piff, and joined by Squee. I really actually messed that up this time. Normally uh, I do that on purpose. This one, I really, I am Squee. I am Squee. I am Squee. <laughs> <laughs> you Piff. I am Darkness. <laughs> Hello. I Please squeak. subscribe you piff. to DBZ League as well as Naruto League. Um, so, uh, let's just get started. Match <laughs> three, Dragon Ball Warriors versus the Boos. Dragon Ball Warriors at the top of West Kai at seven and three. Not by a large margin, though. They still have a lot to fight for if they want to keep that first rank. The Boos also at the top of their division at seven and three. <clears throat> And also, uh, only by a small margin. So, you've got two teams here on the top of their divisions fighting to keep that space. And the interesting thing is that one of them, one of them's gonna be in trouble because if they lose this, the Valkyries just won. Which means if if Dragon Ball Warriors lose this, they're only one behind or one ahead of the Valkyries. And if the Boos lose this, it's possible that the Gohans could tie them this week. So, like I said, a lot of teams, a lot, a lot of things, both teams are fighting for. Let's uh let's see who wins though. Let's do this. Dragon Ball Warriors versus the Boos. No one told me there'd be fighting here. Oh yeah. I thought this was a peaceful negotiation. No, no, no. Hang no, on, no. hang on. Wait, 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 wait. No, no, no. There's lots of blood. Oh god. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Uh... I just came here for old right, people to sit started. around in a room and talk at each other. <laughs> I thought they were just gonna play cribbage or something. You guys remember cribbage? That game that your grandpa always plays? <laughs> that no one under the age of 70 has played ever? I think my grandpa tried to teach me cribbage once and I was too not old enough to learn it. <laughs> I, I've actually I've gotten over everyone knowing my secret. Thank you very much, Chad. <laughs> it's a. Uh, it took about. Uh, it took a while. So, um, I I now have a uh, a crazy person uh, telling me to to not worry about it. Mm -hmm. He usually tells me to lay down and like talk about how does that make you feel and it just really creeps me out. I don't I don't know how that. Uh huh. So, like... which secret, are we talking about you being the Green Ranger? That secret? Or is that still a secret? That's, that's still a secret. Oh, yeah. okay. Okay, got it. And, whoa. Oh, okay. I heard a dodge there. <laughs> I didn't see a dodge, but I heard it. <laughs> Good thing you have hearing. I yeah. don't. I, yeah, because I, that, I that must have looked like, hearing. it must have looked like that command may have just had no effect on Kid Buu. <laughs> I, I assumed that he was laying on the floor, therefore nothing happened. No, I, I did hear a little bleep thing. Okay. That, because that sounds nothing like the high speed dodge. You know what I mean. No, I, I, I get that. It's, um, bleep. Wow, and um, Kid Buu, might I mention Kid Buu getting absolutely annihilated by Gohan over here. Yeah, you noticed. You yeah, know. I did notice. That was Kid Buu. Um, did I mention that was Kid Buu? Yeah, you, you, you definitely noticed that was the legendary, the one and only Kid Buu. And I think it's proper to use was in this instance. Because <laughs> Gohan is destroying... I mean, he's destroying his, his descendant now. I <laughs> mean... That's fine. Yeah, that is an interesting thing about fighting the Boos, is that if you if you destroy that team, if you win, you've basically picked apart every aspect of that character. <laughs> it's true. Oh yeah, I didn't just beat you. I beat every form of you. Take the whole new level two. I'm going to hit you so hard I hit your entire family. <laughs> In Dragon Ball Z, it should be like, I'm going to hit you so hard, I'm going to knock you through all of your transformations. <laughs> That'd be something. No. That'd be actually pretty cool. <laughs> that would be awesome. You're like, I don't even know how you got through the transformation ones, like the, the fusions. They're not even around. How do yeah. you do that? You see? Oh, wow. Ooh, finally taking Gohan down, but only with a bar of health left. Gohan, be very impressive. now. That'd be perfect, but... Yes, <laughs> it would be perfect. Here goes. 
Gosh, and Nom hasn't have. even touched the field yet. Hmm. And Nom has freaking. Well, it okay. doesn't matter because that's very rude, you know. You shouldn't point like that. <laughs> yeah, you can see what happens. Super explosive wave. No. <laughs> Tao said, Stop that, Vegeta. No, yeah. Stop that. Stop it. Come on. Stop it. Jeez. Wow. The, the boos are getting destroyed right now. In, indeed. Um, the uh, Dragon Ball Warriors have always been a very interesting um, group of, uh, of characters. Mm -hmm. And... Um, they, it's just shown how much work and effort has been put into each of these characters. <laughs> Look at Tao dodging just enough for that curve to miss him. Mm. But yes, I agree. Um, now, Adult Gohan's a good pickup for the team, but that is by no means the answer to their success. Their mm. entire team is very solid. Yes. They, they have, they've done extremely well in their builds. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, I couldn't even start to take that away from them. And look at Tao, sitting back there with his max power, throwing out some energy balls, having a good time. It, yeah, he's he's using his energy well, because uh, like if, if he was out of that max power, those balls would cause something. Yeah, I'm not sure I'd call that the smartest use of your max power. I don't but, know. But okay. That's, that's strategy. <laughs> that, that, that's his value right there. Yeah, he's, he got like at least 400 points of damage out of all that. <laughs> And he didn't even use a single point of energy with it. It's ridiculous. And uh, Vegeta starting to fight back, but still, I mean, you're seeing the, the, the amount of damage that these players are having to take in order to get anything done. I'd rather not get headbutted by Vegeta. Especially if it I, makes I, you I bounce think, like uh, that. Well, yeah, like, like a gosh darn basketball. But um, I, I think his head's just aerodynamic for headbutts. <laughs> it's true. It's got that long, sloping forehead. It's almost like the world what? wants him to headbutt people. Well done, Nam. Well done. <laughs> Dodged it just to fly back into it and then get your ultimate blocked. He, uh, I, I think Vegeta's really showing his stuff. I agree. Kid, uh, Kid Boo's still in there somewhere. He is. Like, Mm -hmm. Oh wow! High speed clash. Nom, Nom wins it. Good. Yeah, I was gonna say Vegeta could just destroy Nom right here and now. Crossover attacks gonna connect for seven thousand points of damage. It's very hard to dodge that, especially since he was not facing him. Yeah, yeah, kind of hit from behind. I guess uh, the rules of Bushido from the game Bushido Blade are not in effect. <laughs> well, yeah, because. None of them know Bushido. Not to mention that game on the play at PS1 was the most finicky game ever. Apparently, you, you couldn't attack people from behind because that was unhonorable. But according to this game, behind meant pretty much from anywhere the game decided was behind. <laughs> I mm. even attack people face front and they'd be like, that is dishonorable, you lose. <laughs> what? Well, yeah, your sword hit their back <laughs> while you're facing them. <laughs> it happens. <laughs> You know, through their abdomen. Did it pierce their back? Well, yeah, through the front. Uh, 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 uh. No. <laughs> you, like, do a slashing motion and you, like, nick the side of them. They're like, nope. Yeah. <laughs> and down goes Nom. Wow. But I was facing them. What am I supposed to do? The boos Freaking... have really brought this back. Is there, like, a fencer in that game? Because that might, that might, uh... Uh, there, um, there is a fencer in the second game. Well, okay, Bushido Blade, you can choose what weapon you use, so anyone can be a fencer. You can just choose the rapier. Okay, um, because that might, that might alleviate some of those. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it's a lot of poking, and, uh, you usually don't do any slashing motions. The Unless the hitbox is just like, eh, whatever. The second game is actually one of my favorite games of all time, because it got rid of that stupid rule. You can hit people from behind all you want. Especially, especially when you get halfway through the game and you find a guy with a gun. How's that honorable? Yeah. Game, I ask you. Did he hit you from the front, though? It no. doesn't okay. matter, <laughs> Pit. Here's the thing. What you need to do is actually just turn around and walk at them backwards. <laughs> Whoa! And then you can win. Whoa, did you see that? He I just did negated see that. that Kamehameha with a flame shower breath thing. 
Frost. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> and the booze so in the lead now. Not like mm. what we saw earlier. Yeah. These two are, are fairly close in HP and they're they are definitely fighting it out, but there's still Kid Boo sitting there waiting. Beady little eyes. Yeah, I see him. I see those beady little eyes. Yeah, if, if, Goku, if Goku could take out Evil Boo without much more damage, it's possible he could take this. But especially since Kid Boo won't have Savior because he started the match. Yes. Some people, like, um, I remember back in the league where they didn't have the uh, point rule. I even had some of the uh, starting characters still have um, that particular Savior on, mm -hmm. just in case they tagged out and tagged back in. Yes, indeed. I mean, there is a certain um, strategy to it if your character tags a lot. Mm -hmm. Goku taking it to Evil Boo, high-speed dodge battle, Goku wins it! Ping Pong attacking, 5,000 points of damage there. Goku slowly taking Evil Boo down. Indeed, he's doing a very good job. Oh no, False Courage, this is not good for Evil Boo. Um, even if he gets any offense in, he's not going to be able to follow up with anything. He can just get punched right through it. Yeah. Oh my. He's still doing a decent job of it, though. Nice uh, nice going on Evil Boo's part by constantly teleporting around him. Hmm. Oh, nice job on Evil Boo's part eating mm. that Kamehameha. <laughs> now his friendly friend can actually get into that fight with the full energy. Oh, nice dodge from Kid Buu, and this is an even fight between these two. Oh, he's going up to max. He is at max power. High speed clash. Oh, I oh think... Kid Buu might take this. Yeah, Kid Buu's gonna win that one. And go oh, oh, Goku. He may dodge, no. Wow. He tried to run. He that tried was not to run. the option. You sure are strong. Well, that was a very entertaining match. <laughs> The Boos pulling out a surprising win, going up to eight and three. The Dragon Ball Warriors falling to seven and four. Well done, Boos. On to the Boos. next match. You can't say that the Boos aren't something to fear when Kid Boo can freaking throw a ball at somebody and you hit him to the ground. I'm not afraid of him. Oh my God! Did you not see freaking dodgeball? Yeah, Have you not played dodgeball but, as a kid? Those yeah. things like they 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 like hit you and you go like, hey. Yeah, but he's really short. See, I don't I don't understand. The whole point of dodgeball is to dodge the ball, and everyone complains about getting hit. They're just not good at the game. <laughs> <laughs> Team Cold versus the Blades for match four. Team Cold was a very impressive win over the Super Saiyans last week, um, sitting at five and five, whereas the Blades are sitting uh, at the bottom of the division at four and six. Definitely want to climb out of there. Um, <clears throat> well, they got to stand up before they do that. They do. They do have to stand up before they can do that. Um, now, the Rugrats, I believe, just... Oh, God, I can't remember. Did they just win or lose? The Rugrats... Gosh. <laughs> Who uh, are they facing? Uh, the Saiyans. They won. The Rugrats won. So... <laughs> I am so out of it. So if the Blades want to keep up, if they want to have a chance of pulling out of last place, they need this victory. They absolutely need it. Um, so I think the Blades are going to want this more. I mean, Team Cold, sure, they want the win. It'd be nice to pull up above the Androids, but it's going to be very hard to beat the Super Saiyans and get that number one seed. And it's also going to be hard to lose enough to uh, be threatened by the Earth to finish. So I think the Blades want this victory more. But we'll just have to see. The Team Cold versus the Blades. Let's do this. I don't know if you can judge about the whole who wants what more. I can. I don't, I don't think you can do that. <laughs> this personal feelings, maybe the person's more of like a, ah, I try my hardest, and the other person's just like, I really want to be mediocre. I'm a commentator, Piff. I do what I want. I want to try enough that I just get past everything. No, oh, I just want to get now there and be okay at it. Like me to kill you. <laughs> the I want to be incredibly average. You know, not horrible. Like, you, if, if people see me do it, they go, yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah. It's, it's not bad. He's certainly no beginner. Yeah. That, that's and maybe that's what they want, Squee. You, you can't just say that they they want it more 
badlier I say than what the I others. Want. I say what I want. I'm, just, I'm wrong sometimes. Those... <laughs> <laughs> what do you think those giant spike balls are, anyway? Uh, Goku's hair. All the incarnations of Goku's hair. This freaking, like, dandruff? What? <laughs> Um, uh, yes. See, Hell is really, everyone's just shrunk down and put on Goku's scalp. <laughs> the one you see here, yeah, hair support. follicles and oh, all yeah. of the, the jelly beans that have been lost in there over the years. <laughs> I see. A little bit of Dragon Ball Z sense. lore for you guys. <sighs> just uh, keep it real. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm impressed with Cyborg Tao. I'm interested in uh, um, the the starter that Team Cold has, starting with Frieza. Mm -hmm. Not that it's such a bad move. I mean, if they uh, if they're not dependent on his ultimates, uh, getting a really strong character out there at the start, give you some breathing space for your other characters, is not a bad idea at all. Mm -hmm. And he looks like he's doing pretty well. Like he, he's having enough blast stocks to get energy. Uh, he could pull out ultimates, and he's actually built for such things. Which is an interesting move. Um, a lot of people usually do the savior to get an easy end for that. Well, the other thought could be too that they give him such a high charge rate that they don't think the savior is going to be an issue. I don't know. But all all things told, Cyborg Tao is the impressive one here. Is he going to throw out ultimate? No. Why would he do that? That would make sense. You gotta stop that, Piff. <coughs> Piff, you can't, you can't just say what you want to say. <laughs> okay. And that was, that was... Uh, that was Cyborg Tao being saved by uh, falling. <laughs> by incompetence. Yeah, both of them at max power. I'd be interested in seeing both either of these characters use their ultimate. We don't get to see it too often. At least not in this form of Frieza. Oh! <laughs> Well that was then, an interesting follow-up. Uh, I did not think that was going to happen. Anyone get the name of that bus? Yikes! Nova Strike, not an ultimate, but still powerful. Wow. Indeed. Uh, I guess he realized that Cyborg Tao liked the taste of the first one. <laughs> he mm. Thought he'd give him a second. I I do love the the voice acting for Frieza. It's, it's very. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Oh wow! No, dodged by Frieza. And yeah, enough time for to counter that. Yeah. Definitely. Oh, okay. Oh There's an ultimate. He's gonna Wait. fall right into it. Yeah, or not. <laughs> wow, that was a really high arc. <laughs> not quite sure what the plan was, Frieza. Yeah, I'm. Uh, I'm a little hesitant myself on that. <laughs> Gosh, okay. <laughs> wow. Well, alright then. Bye, Tao. That was that was an incredible first match. Indeed. I, uh, I love... <laughs> huh. And he's out. <laughs> he's just like, he's too powerful. There's no <laughs> chance for me. <laughs> I did love that he freaking threw out a, a move and he like dodged it, snuck out of the way of the second one. And there's just him standing there staring at Frieza. <laughs> Frieza's like, nope, <laughs> I'm gone. You know, Frieza's like, okay, I can do this. I can take him. Bum, bum, bum. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> He's out. too powerful. I am no out. Chance. Not a chance. Well, that was a knee to the gut. <laughs> Those are always so bad looking. Like you knee him, and he's like this, like that slow motion almost, where they're just like. <laughs> <laughs> Nice dodge by King Cold. He's also very rude. Again, <laughs> Yajirobe returns the favor with a sword hilt to the gut. And he goes max power. Uh, you know, I, I, don't, I don't know if he's really going to use his full potential. I think he's going to use his, like, maybe two-thirds potential. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 7,000 <laughs> points of damage right there for two-thirds potential. Yeah. It, maybe he just needs to be at lower HP. Well, that's possible. That's very possible, Piff. I've, I've heard that's where you get the most power, is when you're just in the brick of death, uh -huh. and you're like hobbling, and you're just like, 
you've unleashed my full power, and you're just like, I don't know how it works. <laughs> As we have learned. King's oh, yeah. Dignity, give him a little I've bit more melee power there. I've seen it in video games. I've seen it in Naruto. I've seen it in real life. Car salesman once. Oh, yeah. Totally sold that car. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I thought he just started killing people. <laughs> well, no, no. See, a guy came in and uh, totally blew a hole in his chest. Um, and uh, he stood up and he sold like he'd never sold before. <laughs> You've unleashed my full selling <laughs> potential. <laughs> the commission was off the charts. The manager's commission scouter broke. <laughs> There's been so many hit out of moves it lately. Has been. Like, I, I just got here. Mm -hmm. Hi, darkness. Just got here. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, we get a little panty shot of Yadjirobe, a little fan service there. Well done, Cold. He knows what the fans want. He knows what the fans want. <laughs> Cold's always worried for the fans. <laughs> he knows where he's. That's why he always goes out in his underwear. Right? Exactly. A max power again from Yadjirobe. These two have actually done a really good job against each other, and this battle's lasted quite a while. Indeed, I am surprised that Yadrobi has yet to pull out an ultimate. I think this is his third time, maybe even fourth, I that he's in his ultimate time. So, yeah, oh. and they're both in max power now. And high speed clash. This is your, your maximum potential. This is this is the time. Oh, there, there we go. go. <laughs> there we go. And it connects. Oh my gosh, it happened. <laughs> Why did it happen? Well, goodbye, Colt. <laughs> That was a nice, uh, nice end to that little one-on-one -on -one matchup. Uh-oh. No. Hey. <laughs> he waved it out of the way. Did you fly next to him? Like, no, 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 no. <laughs> Another panty shot! Team Cold! Treating the fans to a show. Mm. What do you think, uh, those, those, uh, black circlets around his legs are? Um, Oops. garters, obviously. You think there's like sweatbands? And and before anyone gets upset saying that I'm sexualizing Yajirobe, guys, look, he likes it. Alright? I don't you're that's not that's not it's not his personality. No, no, Yajirobe personally told me he it makes him makes him feel special. Murdering his character. <laughs> Cause we've never done that before on the league. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> <laughs> Adds a lot of sword pokes to the abdomen. Look, I've seen Firefly. A couple sword pokes to the abdomen and you're done. It's over. I'm not getting up from that. I don't know. I've seen a lot of sword pokes in my day. Have you? Most of them just kind of do minimal damage. <laughs> Yeah, I played Unleash the Force. We hit a Stormtrooper with the lightsaber like 10 times and they don't die. Yeah, because it's freaking it's that's how lightsabers work. <laughs> yeah, that's just how they work. It's. Look, when the lightsaber hits a person, they go, ow. Uh huh. Don't do that. Then you do it again and they go, please stop. That is really getting annoying. By the 10th time, they just go, you know what, I'm just gonna lay down, because that's apparently what you want, and you're not gonna stop until that happens. <laughs> I do have a deadly laser blaster here, but I'm rather a non-violent person. Maybe if I just lay down and pretend to be dead, you'll go away. <laughs> Stupid Jedi think they have all these powers. Freaking deaf to everybody else. Like they could go super fast, sure. And so could Sonic, and he had a sword once. What did that do for him? Nothing. Oh, Finger Blitz Barrage connects. We've had another really good long fight between these two characters. This is like I, I guess I don't know if this is a defense build battle, but these characters have really uh, tagged it out early. Okay then. <laughs> Maybe we can see some fireworks. Maybe. The Blades have a lot of catching up to do, though, because uh, Team Cold still has two people in the wings. I'm sure it's a holiday somewhere. Let me check the date. I don't I don't know what holiday would be on this particular day, but I'm, I'm hopeful. 
get some fireworks. Yeah. Maybe get one of those like uh. Well, little, you, little, like, you're one day early, Piff. It was almost a holiday, and someone got rebirth off. <laughs> oh, not bad holidays. Yeah, why? That'd be perfect for DBZ. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, get baked. <laughs> Why didn't you move it to tomorrow, bro? I, I didn't I'll think about it. I trap shooters. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> Got the chow machava. Lock on Buster. Dodged. <laughs> Easily by slowly listing to the side. <laughs> Possibly putting to task the name of such a move. <laughs> Lock on Buster. <laughs> <laughs> Did it really lock on? Did it really? Oh, both of them are at max power. <clears throat> he has a sword too. Yes. Kind of. Where, well, that's where he? almost why he's called the, uh, on the team called Blades Piff. Yeah, why don't they have blades then? He has a blade. It's called that's, a sword. That's a sword. A sword that's has a, a blade. Sword. No. Yes. <laughs> I have seen plenty of swords in my day. And they all have blades! <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of a, a, a prerequisite to be a sword, Pim. I, okay. I have a few swords. And they you, all have blades. <laughs> they, uh, they have tilts. And they also have large things on the other end. Uh-huh, called blades. don't, no. Yes. Because <laughs> they don't cut anything. Uh, Pim's got a bunch of, like, clown hammer swords. <laughs> I freaking their lightsabers. <laughs> a lightsaber has a blade. No. Yes. It's, it's a it's a it's a bean. Bye bye. <laughs> well, this match turned around right quick, didn't it? <laughs> Ended. Hopefully, Mechafreza can uh. Just rude. Stop that. Why? 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 Why all the poking and pointing? <laughs> wrong with this league? This league used to stand for something. <laughs> now everyone's just disrespectful with the, the poking and the pointing. You never see Vegeta point. Wait, wait, does Vegeta point? Yeah, he does! Maju Vegeta points! Even he <laughs> points, Piff! <laughs> wow, I'm impressed. Tapion's been his spammy <laughs> self this week. Oh yeah, we're, we're getting a small debate in the chat that lightsabers do not have blades. They do! It's called a laser blade! Is it, is it called a laser blade? Yes, it is, actually. Because it sounds really dumb. Not! No! Nonsense! Because I would think a blade would have to have a sharpened edge. Um... So that, that's almost indicative yeah, you know, to the flame uh, part. <laughs> now we're getting into the gray area. <laughs> Where Stop Piff is absolutely <laughs> correct, but that doesn't change the fact that it's called a blade. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> I'm gonna check up. Google, what's a blade? <laughs> what's a blade? Google, Siri, what is a blade? Oh, hang on. I've got one better than Siri. I've got Galaxy. Alright, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait for Galaxy to answer. <laughs> No, I don't want the freaking movie blade. God damn it. <laughs> Galaxy, what is a blade? Oh, bye, Tapion. Huh? Huh? Come on. Oh, it's taking time. Dimension Sword Attack, an ultimate blocked by Mecha Frieza. Um, Galaxy is Googling what is a blade about <laughs> Tapia. <laughs> well, that was useful. Well, you have to make sure that you only do that phrase. <laughs> I'm busy! Be like... <laughs> Who's Tapia? <laughs> Who is Tapia? <laughs> I think the cold has this one. I don't think John Imba's coming back from this. Nope! Wow, well done. That was a very even match. You'll never beat me I, I, okay. Like I got it. The flat cutting that. edge of a knife, saw, or other tool. Like a lightsaber. Like a lightsaber. Ex extreme. Hold on. A flat, wide section of an implement or device such as an oar or paddle. Still doesn't fit lightsaber. <laughs> yeah, no. What? Have you never heard of lightsaber <laughs> oars? <laughs> I don't think that would work really well. <laughs> well, well, then. 
everyone, that's it for episode two. We'll come back to episode three when we debate the cross guard. <laughs>